Wow, you might want to sit down for this one. Let's talk about it. Alright, so if you're interested in GPUs at all, you'll definitely want to watch this whole video because what I'm about to share with you guys is real bad and quite frankly shocking. Now, since the release of the RTX 40 series, many people have been very dissatisfied with the GPU market in general. I mean, starting off with the RTX 4090, while it was a substantial increase over the 3090, it still is very expensive at $1,600, so not a lot of people were interested in this card. Then you take a look at the RTX 4080 and Typically, the 80 class GPU is that high end GPU that people can actually afford if you're willing to save up for some amount of time. And this time around, that just wasn't the case. They raised it from $700, which was arguably already fairly expensive, to a mind boggling $1,200, a nearly 2x increase in price in just one generation. And again, you did get a substantial increase in performance, but at a substantial increase in price, it just simply wasn't worth it to the vast majority of gamers. Then you take a look at the 4070 Ti, and that thing was absurdly expensive at $800, and while it does give you more VRAM, it just isn't enough to justify that $800 of price. Then you take a look at the 4070, and this is probably the least offensive of the lineup coming in at that $600, which is an outrageous increase over the already outrageously priced RTX 3070, which was already $500. So bumping that up another $100, although again, you got a substantial 30% increase at a 20% increase in price for a lot of people it just still wasn't worth it and guys if you thought that was bad if you thought things couldn't get any worse well a road roller is about to drop in on your heads because yep things are about to get even worse it is truly absolutely horrendous what I'm about to go over with you guys we need to dissuade people from buying the RTX 4060 Ti and 4060 the GPUs Nvidia is about to release and the best way to do that is to get this message out to as many people as possible so if you could share it on places like Facebook Twitter Reddit Instagram anywhere and everywhere you can share this video the more people that we reach the more people we stop from purchasing things like the 4060 Ti and 4060 and it's not just stop Stopping them from purchasing it. I'm going to show you in just a second here some alternatives that are going to give you more performance and more VRAM for the same or even potentially less money depending on what they're actually going for at this point in time. So hopefully that will help a lot of people out there and we can take our first step into actually fixing this horrendous GPU market because believe me it is horrendous for the mid-range and entry-level buyers. It's already really expensive and bad for the high end but yeah it is way worse for people who are on a budget and speaking of a budget let's go ahead and talk about the 4060 ti because why is it so bad now at first glance it looks like at least according to some leaks from mega size gpu it's not looking so bad i mean we're talking about 400 for the 4060 ti which is the same price as the 3060 ti however where it starts to get bad is this is an 8 gigabyte gpu once again Yes, that's right, you heard me correctly, 8 gigabytes once again in 2023 for $400. But wait, it gets way, way worse. Now, there will be a 16 gigabyte version, or at least that's what the leaks and rumors are suggesting. And according to Megasize GPU once again, which by the way, he has gotten a number of things right about NVIDIA in the past, so he has some amount of credibility, at least in my eyes. Apparently, the 16 gigabyte version is going to be $500. Woo! $500. Are you excited? Oh boy, I know I am. I can't wait to blow $500 on performance that is worse than the RTX 3070 in 2023. Yep, that's right, you heard me correctly. The 4060 Ti may be slower than the RTX 3070 while costing, if you want the 16 gigabyte version, the exact same. So what does that mean? That means there's been zero progress for another generation if you're a mid-range buyer. So really great news there. Now, where am I getting this information? Well, if we go ahead and we take a look at a WCCF Tech article, we can see here that they state that apparently, quote, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 Ti CUDA benchmark leaks out close to 15% faster than 3060 Ti. That's right, you heard me correctly, close to 15% faster. Now, maybe it'll be faster in games. There is certainly that argument. Maybe it'll actually exceed the RTX 3070 in games. And if it does, it won't be 
as bad, but if this leaked benchmark is anything to go by, it's not looking good. If we take a look at the image here, you can see that the RTX 3070 gets a score of 150,000 and the RTX 3060 Ti gets a score of 128,000. So when we take a look at the 4060 Ti, oh boy, great, it's better than the RTX 3060 Ti, except for, oops, if we do the math, it's only about 14% faster. 14% faster! Wowie, wowie, what a great amount for the same money and the same VRAM two years later. Wow, and it actually falls short of the RTX 3070. So this is why I'm asking you guys to please share this video with as many people as possible because if people go out and buy this card, at that point, it, like the, the mid range is screwed. I mean, we are talking about like the amount of increase you would see from one quad core to another quad core when Intel had no competition. This is horrible. This is the worst upgrade. This is like worse than the 2080 going from the 1080 Ti. I mean, we, we thought that was bad because you got less VRM for roughly the same performance, but at least you got like ray tracing and all kinds of stuff with that. What do you get with the 4060 Ti that you don't already get on the 3060 Ti? Maybe DLSS 3? I get it. I like DLSS 3. It's a nice add-on, but paying for it it's it's just not really worth swapping out your video card for no more performance just to get DLSS 3. So this is ridiculous. And this is again, why I'm asking you guys to share because honestly, if you take a look at what else is available right now, guys, you're gonna see just how much of a ridiculous ripoff this 4060 Ti is even at $400. I mean, eight gigabytes, yeah, it's bad in 2023, but at the right price, it's fine. $400 ain't the right price. It's gotta be like $300 and below. Now, if we take a look at the used market, just to give you guys a couple of examples of GPUs that are way better purchases than this, we can see that the RTX 3080, I found one immediately, buy it now with maybe two seconds of searching for $400 plus $14.81 shipping. Now, if this leaked benchmark is to be believed and the RTX 4060 Ti is slower than the 3070, then we're gonna be talking about 20 to 30% more performance out of this GPU for basically the same money. I mean, maybe $14, $15 more, whoop de doo And you're also getting two gigabytes more video memory. So you're trading DLSS 3 for more video memory and way more performance. So does it make sense to buy the 4060 Ti? No, you're better off looking for used RTX 3080s over on eBay. The only thing I'll warn you about is do please try and make sure it does have some sort of warranty for at least six months so that if you get it and it breaks down, you have some way of getting it replaced. If it doesn't have a warranty, you might want to skip on it unless the price is really, really good because that is playing a little bit of Russian roulette. Now, another option you could look at if you're more into the entry level market is, well, there are some AMD alternatives. Now, AMD will be releasing their 7600 soon, and apparently the 7600 will also have eight gigabytes of video memory. So, wowie, wowie, it better be a good price. And from what I'm hearing, we're probably talking about $300 or more. Now, if it's $300, it's not good. If it's $350, it is horrendous because we're talking about something that's probably gonna be more of a 4060 competitor it's gotta be under $300. I mean, $280 max, it should probably be like 250 bucks. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if we look on eBay once again, the RX 6600, which yes, I know will be slower, but it's not gonna be like, you know, half the speed. It's gonna be somewhere in the ballpark, at least close. That thing, you wanna know how much that's going for? $170. So plus guys, there's a ton of other options on the used market, like 6700 XT, 6600 XT, 6800. You got the 3080 10 gig, the 3080 12 gig, the RTX 3070. All these cards are going for fantastic prices over on the used market. So that's why, again, I'm asking you to share this video because not only is it a terrible idea to continue to support NVIDIA's new cards as they continue to raise the price and give you less and less and less every single generation, but there are great alternatives over on places like eBay that as long as they have a warranty are either gonna save you a ton of money or give you way more performance and video memory for the same price. So I just simply cannot recommend you purchase any new GPUs from either probably Nvidia or AMD because I doubt AMD is gonna be that competitive. Let's be honest, until Intel actually enters with Battle Mage early next year, the entry in mid-range 
type of GPUs are just going to be a terrible, terrible deal for new buyers. And we have to start to dissuade them from purchasing these GPUs. And the only way to do that is basically through word of mouth, because a lot of these people don't really go out of their way to search for tech videos. So we're going to have to go ahead and try and kind of shove it in their face, because if they don't see it and they go out and purchase these video cards, it's just going to continue to get worse for them. And if it continues to get worse for them, even if you're someone who's not interested in the 4060 Ti, maybe you're interested in a 4070, maybe you want the RTX 480, maybe you want something from AMD that's a little bit more high end because a lot of the viewers that watch my channel tend to like to buy, you know, that maybe upper mid range to higher end GPU without spending, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, even if you're that person, well, guess what happens? If the 4060 Ti becomes the 5060 Ti and now it's $500, $600, guess what? your video card can't be a way better deal for only, you know, $50, $100 more. It's also going to have to raise. So this is going to affect everybody if NVIDIA continues to get away with this. So we have to put a stop to it and start, you know, spreading these videos by word of mouth, essentially, or, you know, by sharing so that we can start to hopefully correct the GPU market. Because yes, we can have reviewers come out and say it's not great value. But if we don't have someone coming out here and saying like, please, dear God, don't buy this. Here's better alternatives on the used market. People just aren't going to take a look at the used market and they're going to continue to get ripped off. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the 4060 Ti is really a bad deal or do you think it'll be a fantastic video card? Let me know what your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.